Believe it or not, this is actually Minecraft Java with the social menu in here where you could add friends, where you could host a multiplayer world without actually creating a server or anything like that. You could do all of that because of this mod called Essentials. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Essentials for Minecraft 1.20, 1.1. So you could create multiplayer worlds just like you would do in Minecraft Bedrock, but instead in Minecraft Java. Now, this is completely free to do. The only thing that I ask in return is that you subscribe. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. And real quick, guys, even though I do love Essentials, the easiest way to create a server is always Apex Ocean. If you use the first link in the description, you actually get 25% off your first server. It could be a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that supports over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button. And something that Apex Hosting offers that Essentials doesn't is that these servers will be on 24 7, which means that you don't have to keep your computer on to play with friends. Apex Hosting also has locations all around the world. So no matter where you are, you will always have a good connection. And something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could actually create and then access a server through your phone. You could access a server console through your phone, meaning that you could change the settings, kick people out of the server do whatever you want in your server from within your phone i'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25 percent off and now let's keep going with the tutorial now the first step to get essential is to click the second link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install this mod feel free to read through the guide but if you want to get straight to the point just scroll down to step one and click download that is going to redirect over here where you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for 1.21.1 either for fabric or forge as of right now however fabric is the only one that has a 1.21.1 version of essentials so we're going to have to download the fabric version as well as a fabric mod loader however in the future if you already have forge 1.21.1 in here feel free to download the forge one and use this for forge in this guide we're going to download it for fabric and if you don't have fabric don't worry because i'm going to teach you how to get fabric in a second anyways go ahead and click on the download button here that is going to bring in the download immediately for the fabric 1.21.1 version of essential and let's go ahead and try and drop this mod into the desktop real quick now at this point if you already have the fabric mod loader as well as the fabric api just go ahead and add this mod into your mods folder and you're done you already have essential but i'm assuming most of you don't have fabric so that is what we're going to do next click on the third link in the description which is our reading guide on how to install fabric and if you want to skip through the guide just scroll down to step one and click download fabric here that is going to redirect over here where you're going to click download universal jar and that is going to begin the download immediately let's go ahead and drag and drop this file into our desktop and now let's download the fabric api as well the fabric api is a mod library that will allow essential to work properly with fabric the fabric api if you have already used fabric in the past you know it's a requirement for most mods and essentials is not different click on the fourth link in the description let's scroll down to step one click download fabric api here that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to choose the 1.21.1 version of the mod and then you're going to go ahead and download the most recent one for fabric well all of them are for fabric anyways and after five seconds your download should begin here and then we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that fabric api file into our desktop just like we did with the essential fabric and the fabric installer now once we have all the files that we need in our desktop it's time to begin the first thing you want to do is find your fabric installer make sure your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher is completely closed and that you have played minecraft 1.21.1 at least once in your computer the vanilla version of the game just launch it and then close it out it's very important that we create an instance of minecraft 1.21.1 in our computer before installing fabric now once you've done that close out from everything right click on the fabric installer click open with and select java in here that is going to open the fabric installer where 1.21.1 will be selected automatically if it's not just make sure you find it in here and select it and then hit install if your fabric installer didn't open make sure you have java 21 installed java 21 it's a requirement for any minecraft above minecraft 1.20.5 whenever you're trying to install mods or create a server or even adding shaders or anything like that will require you to have java 21 nowadays i'm gonna leave this guide in the description on how to download and install java 21 you just download java hit next a couple of times and you'll have java installed and then after that you'll be able to open the fabric installer and you'll be able to use mods with micro 1.21.1 now once fabric already installed click ok in here close out from this installer in here and now you could even delete the fabric installer as we don't need it anymore the next step is to add the essential mod as well as the fabric api into our mods folder and to do that go ahead and launch your minecraft launcher once the minecraft launcher opens if you install fabric properly it should be selected here automatically but it doesn't really matter because we're still gonna head over to installations right here on the top and in here you're gonna see different minecraft versions in here just make sure you select modded because without modded you actually won't see fabric in here and by the way if you still don't see fabric just click on new installation name this whatever you want so like for example apex hosting since that will give you 25 percent off your first server using the first link in the description and then for version just type in fabric and then select fabric 1.21.1 and hit create here on the bottom right and that will add an instance of fabric for you in here anyways either if you added fabric yourself in here or if it was installed when you installed fabric earlier it doesn't matter we're gonna hover over it and we're gonna click on this folder in here to add our mods now that is going to open a folder that has a lot of files in it but we are now specifically looking for a folder called mods that's m-o-d-s mods as you can see my mods folder is right here and i want you to go ahead and open that folder app and by the way if you don't have that mods folder i'm gonna go ahead and delete mine you could always create it yourself so if you can find the mods folder in here just click on new click folder and just name this folder mods m-o-d-s just like that and then go ahead and open it you could create the mods folder yourself if you don't have it what you're going to do now is actually 
actually drag and drop the essential fabric mod as well as the fabric API into this folder. Just make sure that the mods that are within this folder are compatible within each other. What I mean is that you don't want to have Forge mods in here or Neo Forge, anything like that. All the mods that you want to have in here right now are fabric mods and 1.21.1 mods. Once you added the essential mod as well as the fabric API, close out from this folder and you could even delete these files from your desktop as you don't need them anymore. Now it's time to launch fabric and test out essentials. Just go ahead and hit play here within the launcher and you might get a prompt sometimes here saying, are you ready to play modern Minecraft? Just click that you agree and then hit play again and wait for Minecraft to open. Once Minecraft opens, if you install essentials properly, you should see this little screen here. Just click continue. And as you can see, this game has changed. You now have the host of world section. You have the social section where you could actually add friends and everything here on essentials. And yeah, you're ready to start using essentials. You could actually launch a single player world. And then from within that single player world, you could turn it into a multiplayer game by using essentials. Now, keep in mind, guys, that you will always need to keep your computer on in order for the essentials mod to work properly. Like you won't be able to keep the server running, right? So let's say that you host the world in here. You won't be able to keep this running if your computer is not on all the time. So if you don't want to go through that, just click the first link in the description and create a server that is hosted online and that could be up 24 seven with Apex hosting. And not only that, if you use the link right now, you'll get 25% off just because I appreciate you guys a lot. Anyways, thank you for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. We're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. And as always, bye bye.